Eight, and everybody's foreheads are getting a little sweaty for this one as we start to look at this map at hand of Vertigo. We're gonna see if Godsink can close it out over North. Now North, well, they didn't really show us the face we expected in the first map of the series, and here's a chance for redemption it is, as it is their map pick. Yeah, God sent over here on the CT side. North got to pick the, uh, or rather, no, God sent got to pick the sides here, so they've decided that one. And they're going to stack up early with a bunch of dudes over here towards A. No aggression at the ramp side, and North will take note of that. They even have a Molotov to clear out the sandbags. You'll notice Spare Molly on MSL. That's something that maybe could look to be bought in for this post-plant scenario. There is a kit on Makalele, Ooh. so that's going to help out there at the very, very least. And Smart. Yeah, but yeah, that's pretty big brain. He, he fakes the bomb to bait that nade stack that's become reasonably common onto bomb planters here at the A bomb site. You know when those smokes go in, roughly, you know, within like a very, very <laughs> finite range where that bomb's going to go down. And so those nades don't find any return on investment. Kirby's dodged them, but he's not able to dodge bullets. Cajun B over here at short side, along with Gade, tapping away, trying to make this two on two happen, but they are Ooh. sticking the bomb, and they have been this whole time. Cajun, not to know that, and the round slips through his fingers. Does stay alive and do some damage at the end, but it's not to matter. God sent, get the pistol around on the board. Yeah, I mean, wow, that's wow. quite the flip. Uh, I respect everyone out there wow. who put a capper in chat. So, uh, yeah, shout out to you. Drinks on me after this game. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, what I was going to say, that was crazy. Steeko has the kit and the retake, and Crystal sticks the bomb, and Cajun doesn't think he's sticking the bomb because he hears the tap like eight seconds ago, and he's like, there's no way he's still on it. It's eight seconds. Like, they would have just used the kit. They had one. They were playing retake, and they did have a kit, but Godsend, they just have Steeko running in, killing the, uh, the the defensive players, or I guess the aggressive players, and uh, and Crystal sticking a 10-second defuse in a smoke. You'll take it if you're Godsend. It's certainly around, but North don't want it to lead to much. They're going to force up in the second with the Galils. Of course, does kind of hamstring your, your, your utility into this round, but it gives you a fighting chance to fight back, and that's what North looked to do on this A side of things. AZ finding Steeko early. He seemed very blindsided by that battle, and it's an M4 dropped over. It's a gun that North can choose to take if they want to upgrade their weaponry. And now this North buy is is far better than that of Godsend. You know, in like a sense, right? With the M4 given over, these Galils are almost like a T-side M4. And uh, they start to work in close. Now Madden does a great job of delivering two with the MP9. Maybe that's enough to salvage this round for Godsend. Because that's exactly what it's going to have to be. Ooh. They've got to pick up the pieces. And thanks to Makalele best in Gade, it is now into a two on two. They know that Makalele is here and MSL has him pinned, but MSL is not really in a great position to be taking gunfights himself, right? One bullet is all it's going to take to remove him Life from is. the server. This bomb as well is trapped up in the site. North, if they had it, they likely would have, you know, kind of gimmicked around with the rotation a bit. Zen, Oof. that's an important dink for Cajun to find. It puts a lot of the pressure now onto Makalele to find anything in this round. If Zen needs a site, he gets a kill. If he needs anything, he gets a kill. Surely, but it misses. It clips the edge. And MSL, who is above the boxes, will survive. Not oh. for long. Michael Ailey is here with the UMP, <laughs> and he's been stalling all round long. That is an excellent round from both Madden and Michael Ailey. SMGs on the site versus rifles. Madden not only bursts two players down before he gets traded, but Michael Ailey stalls in that boost position. He doesn't commit to fights. He uses every single bit of his utility before he even takes an engagement. And that's really impressive for Michael Ellie, just waiting for Zen on that rotate, waiting for a two on two, and got to close it out in the latter stage of the round. Man, the poll's still going in your yeah, favor. Yeah, Harry, you, you got any good, thoughts man. on You're that really one? Getting red. I'm, yeah, you know, man, it's yeah. not surprising. Like, yeah. no, I it's got, not. I got, you know, I got like 20%, but they're real loyal, and that's what I love about them. Yeah. You know, they're always there. It's like, you're, you know, you're one fan who's like liking all your tweets, who's <laughs> like dancing downstairs. Yeah, but I mean, you know. I mean, your Twitter's better than mine, so don't worry. It's not, it's nothing personal, kid. Let's see what this mid control has in store for North. I'm really excited to see what MSL yeah. has planned for us, the B side of the map, especially, right? Because the A side, yeah, they changed the wood, but come on, <laughs> that's, not, that's not what and we're excited about. We want to see the B changes and how they're influencing things here for North. It goes both ways. It's a good get, to get a litmus test for Godsend, right? Like we saw that game the other day. They seemed pretty, it was pretty shambles of a game, but 
this one already off to a better start and we get to see you know what they can do on the ct side how they react how yeah. they rotate where interesting they interesting thing to note is that north have forced Ooh. into this round here knowing that they did so much damage in the run prior and this round has gone very very wrong for godsend all the kills coming up in favor of north has secured them this b bomb site they trade it favorably and now they get this bomb planted flash doesn't blind Steeko off the angle and allows him to find a bit of chip damage onto AZ. They have him isolated, and so Madden will take that kill. Playing around this smoke, though, is Gade. And Madden Ooh. onto what? the USP, almost, oh. but not quite. It's three for Gade, two for AZ, and the force buy in the third gives some results the way of North. That decision to force, by the way, you might be wondering why they did it. Well, they get it so close in the round before. They know that the money is in shambles for Godsend. And so by picking this round up, they forced Godsend into a very kind of mismatched buy in this round. I think they've got one or two M4s on the players that would have survived back in that round. And uh, that should really be the extent of it here for God's sake. And you said you wanted to see those B plays from SL. Well, there you go. Mid to B split coming through nice and early on. That finally makes sense, right? Like with the window, mid to B didn't really offer anything up on this map because you can, you know, the, you, you drop in through mid into window. Well, you just got into the top of the stairs. Anyone can get there for free. So not really impressive, but that wall bang is. Stiko hits Gade in through the metal. Still does significant damage with the scout. So it's okay, I guess, but... God sent, they have forced themselves and they uh, have not got, you know, a pretty uh, buy in comparison to the one for North. It's a rifle, a scout, three pistols and not a lot of util nor kits for the retake. So it's all about holding your own. Madden, he's very good at that though. Hanging around with this Deagle. He's actually going to get spammed as well. I like the spam damage. It's still significant, but it's not, you know, it's not going to kill you off three or four bullets, which, you know, was the case at one point. But it will certainly, you know, defer or deter you rather from playing that position, playing close short as North are making sure it's spammed. And there we go. They finished the job. Madden dead as North set up for this execute. They're going to commit off the back of the pick. There is a man hiding on the boxes though. That's Zen. He's dropped one. He's dropped two. Trade is finally in, but the bomb park gets delayed and denied for the time being. MSL getting one and he plants in front of the smoke. Stiko can't stop him. Yeah, flank is coming in from Makalele. Stiko, if he buys time here, it steals that attention away. And this allows the flank Ooh. to come in. And MSL gets blindsided by it. Kirby now left in this clutch. Has wrapped around short side and does deal with Makalele, but at quite the cost. Three HP on Kirby. Stiko pushing close, but Kirby seems aware. He sees the Ooh. shadow, but Stiko is quick on the trigger. Defuse gonna come on in and God sent. They steal that force by round away from under North's nose in spite of the man advantage going in favor of North. Zen, really, they owe a hell of a lot yeah. to him there for doubling up inside of the bomb site somehow, some way. And obviously as well, I think Stiko does a great job of not going down when Kirby gets himself up on top of the site box, right? He just hides and finds time yeah. for the uh, the flank from MSL, uh, to, not MSL, rather, Makalele yeah. to find some results in that round onto MSL. Godsend have been really good at that. been really good at like stalling and slowing down in these post plants. Like it can be hard to in the retakes or even in the pre plants. You want to take fights. You want to get the players off of your bomb site, off of your lawn. But uh, Godsend, they wait and they group very, very often. And Michaeli will say, the day with a flank as well as Stiko. Spam, that does connect with high caliber bullets such as Deagle or Orp, but it's not gonna do any damage in this round. Cajun is just about fine. And Godsend are really in control right now, but North have gone again in for a buy. It's been forced buys since the very birth of this game, non-stop. Sen holding B. He's got a bit of support coming in in the form of Madden in this 4 on 4, but Kiebi is looking for a kill and peering towards the sandbags. Oh, the spray down ramp, he gets one, but Zen gets traded immediately. Kiebi, if he wants the bomb, he's got to go back for it, but he might just go into the firing line. Madden's waiting for that fight, and AZ is left alone. That he is. He has his eyes set towards middle, but realizes, like, hey, you know what? Might be a guy here, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of dodge. He's got full utility and a glial to do so. Plenty of HP to win the round. However, no bomb in hand. That creates an interesting dilemma for Mr. AZ, who in very AZ-esque fashion will try to style his way into this site. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Doesn't stop moving before he fires his shot. Madden, while well, he was already pre-aiming the angle, Bit of a late round aggression from Godsend. Risky, but it also provides a reward. And that's a fourth round on the CT side. 
God save, looking really, really warm today, looking impressive. And wanting to get out of this 1-1 one, one position in the group. Both these teams sit there. One win, one loss in group number B. Number B, that's my favorite number. That is <clears throat> one of the more rare numbers. Yep. Um, DLC numbers. And with the way that this is currently going, I mean, you can look at this and say, you know what? Move over, John. Ooh. Move over, Steve. Get out of the way, Iron. Maiden is here to stay. It was a little bit of a crowbar, but... I like it. I like the try, you know? North, they ran mid on Eco and got sent through two grenades at their there's always There's always one yeah. guy in there. And then <laughs> it's <laughs> MSL just... Everyone else is sneaking down the ladder, you know, like doing it all proper. And he just slides down Boom. and makes a bit of noise. That nade... A third nade of the round. Yeah, finding even more damage. Utility is just whittled away at North. And now as they try and close the gap to get into oh. the site, that Molly divides this push in two and Steeko sprays them all down. Okay. All right, MSL, dude, this is a Glock. You're not meant to get away with kills with this. How's he doing it? Finally, they do deal with MSL. Got a bit worried there for a second, but not to matter. Fifth round on the board for Godsent as they get that conversion in the bag. I'm uh, sure we'll see that in Stiko's highlight video. He just one taps a smoke there and kills Cajun through another enemy. He killed him through game. Yeah. He wasn't even trying to get hit no, at first, right? He so, shot a smoke. Sometimes it really do be like that. And then you wonder, oh, how the hell? How did, I, how did he get? What the heck, man? You said it was clear. I mean, it's only Glocks for North, so they're not really going to get hung up on it. It is about the rifles in this round and, well, they've been provided. Let's see what they can do here. No AWP, but back to this A site. North have really... I, the only round they want to be, has been B, and I kind of like that split. I hopefully get to see some more of it in the future, but right okay. now it's all about the fast A contact. AZ and MSL opening up. Gay didn't get a kill, only damage to both, and AZ's going to trade as well as soon as his teammate gets picked up by Madden. Good attack here for North. Zen going to aggress, but Kiebi should have the drop, and he's ready for it. It's Michael Ellie alone. One on four. And I like this from North. They've doubled back. They've gone towards B because they've just killed a player aggressing in that position. And they know that Michael Ellie will be ready for the A play. He's got a bit of a set Molotov for that plant, but I don't even really know where default is on B yet at this point. <laughs> I don't know if you guys do. Everybody oh. knows where default on B is, and Michael Ellie's about to find it. Barrel first. Crosshair. Putting him in the dirt. It's AZ. Set flank. up in the site, MSL on a big flank right here. This could prove to be a big problem for McAlealy. <gasps> there it is, there's yeah. the check. McAlealy holds his ground just a little too long. North put a second one up on the board. So those triple orange boxes on the B site, they look like you don't have a lot of cover. You actually have way more cover than it feels like your model does. So yeah, you can crouch behind it. You can play a, a nice headshot angle from the CT side towards the stairs. Loads of ways you can play that box. And, and that's where we see teams planting. I don't really, you know, I haven't seen any necessarily any consistency between where on the boxes they're planting or which side of them, but I guess it's whichever post part you want, you know, where you're playing for. But one good thing about it is it's kind of hard to stick a bomb on B because it, it is very open, right? Apart from that triple box and the, the double stack side box, there's not a lot to hide behind. And I think that's a good thing, right? Get rid of those goddamn generators. What'd they do to you, man? Generate so much power, too, maybe too much power, Trace. I don't know. The only powers that I'm seeing right now might have to do with that of Auto, Letney, and Crew. Ooh. They're tied up with Mouse Sports over on the C stream right now. And by that, I mean Auto is going to concede around. Mouse Sports is going to put a 12th up. And as far as we're concerned, we're over here on the A bomb site of Vertigo. Ooh, Ooh Crystal could no. catch the timing Don't there, but instead me. that is just like one unfortunate series of events after the other for Crystal. And that leads to his demise. MSL now trying to get into this bomb site. Back here in CT, we got two oh, players oh, trying oh, to oh, double dink dink MSL <laughs> bringing easy down low. Just a bit of a Ooh. bit of banter, of course. All still friends at the end of the day. Oh, no. oh, 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 go. Oh. MSL, he gets forced. <laughs> Into the what? hands of the man in CT. We call that the old smackalele as he shuts him down. And now Gade and Cajun to hold off this bomb plant. Two, now one on three as it's Cajun B on the chopping block next. Makalele with oh. two. And, and MSL could not catch a break no. there, man. You got to feel bad for him. You can imagine that the team comms, like at the end of this round, after that last kill comes through, it's just silence. <laughs> yeah. And then there's probably so, an MSL who's uh, just like, 
Guys, yeah, I'm point, real sorry. You someone someone has to, to break the silence, right? <laughs> and MSL is the guy who might have to do Yeah, I'm, oh, you know, it could just as easy be AZ. Both of them, you know, like, stop walking into the bullets, dick, guys. Right? I don't know, yeah, again as well. Like... Hey, man, get out the way. And then MSL, right, he try, he's like he's like scared. He's stuck deep in the site. He tries to tuck in a nice off angle, and then got him molly it. And he's, he has to rush CT or he's going <laughs> to die in the molly. And he trades, he gets one, but yeah, well, it's not around for, the, for North here. Well, everyone thoroughly enjoyed the show. Yeah. And we hope that you continue to do so right here at the SL1 Road to Rio. God sent. Well, they win the first map pretty convincingly and certainly on their way to maybe doing that here. When I say certainly, no one could know for sure. This game of cat and mice over here on this A site. North want to continue to press this over here and they're going to be welcomed by the house sitters of God sent. Three to be exact. Ooh. It's a nice little smoke thrown by Godson to cut off the headshot angle. It lets Steeko battle at the ramp, and he's got flashed in by Madden. That's a cool uh, way of aggressing here if you're Godson, because North have now tucked behind it. And Steeko, despite this position being mollied, he's gotten back into it. Now, that feels obvious. North are going to Molotov it. They are aware of it, and he's going to have to smoke that one out. Trying to escape. Good luck with that one, buddy. Kierby is waiting, and that's going to be North getting a kill. They can always draw back here with a free frag being presented and lots of time in this round, if they want to double back towards B, that is not an option for North. But they might just hang out outside the A site. Three players from Godsend are here, a fourth if you include the mid man. And Godsend neglecting that B site right now is a, a bit of a gamble, a bit of a risk, but it's also the right call to make. Yeah, A is still a popular tourist destination here for North. Perhaps we'll get a vacation out of it. 20 seconds, though. They've got to pick up the pace. Ooh, and MSL there guys. delivered one through the smoke. Of course he is. As they get into the site, if no one from Godsend finds anything soon, this might just have to be the save. And in fact, it goes even further in favor of North. Oh, oh. if Makalele denied the bomb plant there, the round would have been over and it would have got in Godsend's fashion, but he's not able to do that. Instead, now Crystal left in the one on three. And Gade makes quick work of him. North with a fast play in towards A, put a third round on the board. I say fast, they leave it down to the last 25 seconds. But, you know, very explosive play into the bomb site on the back of taking an early man advantage. Helped out massively, undoubtedly, by this kill from OSL through the smoke. And everything goes awry there for God's sake. Three on the board now for North. Still a ways away from, you know, I think fully being back in the flow of this game, but that round has some pretty big implications to the future for Godsend, right? They force port into this round. They've got one M4 on Makalele pistols for the rest of the gang. And so if North pick this up, they go four to six. There's no money for Godsend at that point. You know, five to six is pretty likely before a buy comes in. And suddenly, you know, North are well and truly back into this map yep. and in a very big way. It was the same in Dust 2, right? We had like, it was an 8-1 and then we had those a couple of recovery rounds to North. They went some against some force buys and they're getting control and then Godson still shut out the half like North should have a seven it or at least could have and Godson still get a 10-5 by finding the last few rounds so we know they've got resilience in them but right now there's not going to be much brilliance in them at least not with these pistols North have taken the a site and kept Godson well and truly out of position Ma uh, Michael Lely gets one the Molotov gets heard oh dear that metal is so annoying to shoot through and Michael Lely finds MSL he's pushing the boundaries he's pushing the limits and he's got himself three there's only two members left up on North and they've got to fall back into post pass this is still winnable with loads of util and another kill for uh -oh. AZ he gets traded down to Cajun with a Molotov but smokes are on the site and they're already on the defuse Cajun got a turn he's got a spam he's got a guess he's got a prey but he can't connect the shot and Gotten are gonna lock in the round seven to three another low economy pistol force retake on that a site what can't godsend do that's a pretty good question you really can't do much when you're dying through a smoke right so north well they do have some money they could buy up they're gonna take a tactical timeout to talk it over yeah, it's Mike Lely again, man, though. You know, like, I, I wasn't expecting him to carry his performance from Dust into this map as much, considering, you know, it's not a great orping map. You know, there are a couple of positions that work, and you can make it work, but you've got to somewhat play the team around the orp if you want to find success. And, you know, Mike Lely with a rifle is just powering through these rounds, retaking with three kills in the A site with one of the only guns Godsend had. Those are massive frags from Michael Lely, and it's put Godsend in such a pivotal position. North's money on Rocky Road, an eighth round here would seal it.
Yeah, the thing that's so impressive right now about Godset is they've kind of been at like this breaking point with the money for a little bit, right? And every single time North think they have them in the position they want, Godset are just coming in with these force by wins. And North, they really can't afford to have that happen. You know, if they want to get a handle back on this game, they've got to start to win it out in terms of the money and AZ. Ooh. Well, looking to get off to a roaring start, does get shut down there by Madden. He tries to get back into the site, and he does get back in, but Gade is already out at the top of the ramp and does deal with him. Man advantage back in favor of North, an early rotation from Makalele on round over here to the A side of the map. Kirby has a little one way here. Yeah, and Stiko trading out his weapons there, he's gonna have both loaded. So this could prove to be a pretty cool play. If they pressure him enough, he can switch off the A1S, pick back up his original M4 and still be in the fight. Also, two guns being shot from one position might be misinfo for North. They might think there are two players there. Obviously, it would depend on whether they saw him or not, or if he's spamming smokes, but just an idea. And yeah, I like it, you know, having a, a contingency plan, something to fall back on is always good, but you can't really fall back on anything when you get blown out of the round. Seiko with his head removed, and uh, North, they finally got that A side. Michael Ellie, he's been good. This is a little unrealistic though, you would like to think. Cajun found on a flank has opened up a world for Godsend, but Michael Ellie, he's gonna need to do some heavy lifting. Yeah, and I, it's not looking like they're going to pressure this too much. I say that Zen is at a furious pace trying to link up with Makalele. And they're both smoked off for the time being. Kirby's pushed up to watch this heaven push underneath it, rather. Ooh. Here we go. First contact. Ooh. It's going to be KRB and Makalele going toe-in-toe. Makalele is tucked into a corner. He can't really peek Zin's here to kind of bail him out. Now they're going to pop a flash, Take but time talk. has really ticked too far, and they're going to back away. That's another round for North. And one that, you know, Godson get very close towards the end yeah. of it, you know? I, I like the idea of Zen getting a kill on the flank and then going immediately up the ladder. Like, that's a decision that Zen makes very quickly, and as a result, he's grouped with Michael Ellie in time to retake. It's a smoke in the elevator that creates a problem. It, it takes another six, seven, eight seconds off of the clock for Godsend, and coming down to those retakes, that can be enough to lose you the round. They had a kit, and they found Kirby in ample time. If they if they had five seconds more, ten seconds more, maybe Godsend win that round, or at least give it a go in the two-on-two. But yeah, safe save, keep the money intact and force by around those guns. Godsend still make it expensive for North. And now they can capitalize on that once again. But this A site, it's been ruthless for North. And once again, they're going back to it. Yeah, these are the rounds that Godsend have always been proficient in though, right? Not letting their economy get broken. And so let's see if that is a trend that looks to continue. Yeah, these are the rounds that I don't think anyone's going to forget. Yeah, that is a... Uh, famous that's, line. That's a famous one, Trace, you've nailed it. Zen, by the way, has pushed up down here towards the bottom of B ramp, and he's Ooh, actually holding cheeky. behind the sandbags here at a bit of an off angle. This is probably one that North aren't going to be ready for. He doesn't have a teammate up inside of the site to be making noise. That would be ideal, right, to get these players' attention fixated on. Because now Zen, like, after getting that kill, they know where he yeah. is, and unless they just trickle out through the... Uh, the B connector one at a time, he's going to struggle to find much. However, Madden and Makalele, once Ooh. again, these two being such a nuisance for North, Cajun B, the only man left, and Makalele is already homed in on this position. Cajun, 12 points of health, 40 seconds left. Time is really his only ally oh, right okay. now. And Makalele is going to finish the job. God sent go on to an eighth, once yeah. again, yeah. refusing to lose these very important swing rounds. And you think for Cajun there, right? You know, he's got the small talk. You think for sure, you know, he's going to find this duel. And then Makalele just sidesteps him and, and hits some ridiculous shots. But you're right there. In terms of playing on that, that B ramp, that second player probably would have went a lot further. I mean, what, what's cool about Zen's position is it's like an early warning system. You know, having a player bottom B and then getting a kill, you immediately get traded and you go, guys, there's four North players coming B or three or however many, you know, there's a lot coming ramp. And God's end, they have such quick rotations. They have three inside of B in a second. And that's because North weren't doing the A pressure. The A pressure they've been doing every single round, right? Think about the, the utility the North throw on A. Think about the spam damage and kills they're getting. Think about the pressure being put on sandbags, even with God's and try and re-aggress there. North will molly it again. Like they're all over A. And the one round they're silent on A, got to another, hmm, I don't believe this. I don't like what I'm seeing. And they stack the B site. And yeah, Zen gets a confirmation. He goes one for one. And the rest of his team are able to close it out inside of B. 
North, when they went for the B play earlier in the half, I think it was the first round they won, they split it with heavy mid control, throwing a lot of util mid to bait some of those B players into fighting the scaffolding. Instead, Godsend fully prioritizing that B bomb site. And that just makes it easy for the numbers of Godsend. This time it's Crystal getting caught backing off. That's a solo AK and it's given a gun to North. They can boost for it. Yeah, this is actually something we saw Godsent do with Madden Ooh. a hell of a lot, well, right? Throw him up on this boost. Not a fan. But uh, yeah, they decide against it on the north side. You imagine that's a response to these nades that Zen was throwing down the ramp. They don't want to offer up this kill if they can avoid it. They're going to look to try and hold on to this five on four as long as they can as they go back here towards A. Only Stiko here. He's going to have a lot to answer for. Big galaxy brain Stiko, what's he got up his sleeve for us? Unself towards the oranges right now. And he's looking to get some spam through the smoke. Mac Lily's gonna be on the case to help him. And look who else has arrived. It's Maiden. They're gonna get a boost going over here and potentially shut down some of these backline players. Ooh. Can't stop the plant. Mac Lily tries to spam through the smoke. And ultimately, Cajun gets that bomb down. Ends out with 24 HP as he backs off. Meanwhile, the fight continues. The skirmish moves on. Stiko finally getting something going for himself here. In a missed flash, we're gonna pretend we didn't see that. Just MSL over here towards that scaffold, and Cajun B will be joining him in the lobby, in the waiting room for the next round. Nine to four for the side of Godson. It may be an eco or a half buy for North, or I guess a force with them buying everything, but D-Garma. But Godson is still feeling so confident. You know, the bomb gets planted, Michael Eddy gets a kill from above, and then Madden just flashes both of them through the smoke. And you know, more often than not, when you're playing that A retake and you have an advantage, the time is in your favor. You can really play those smokes, you can wait, you can, you know, uh, hold off, tap the bomb, force a fight from North, but Godsend don't even do that. They just chase North as they leave the site. They run them down on short, smoking it off, firing through it. They don't let North escape. And I like that confident play from Godsend. Could get punished on a rifle round, but North haven't been full of rifle rounds. They have been buying every time. We might see this mid to B play again that got North their first round on the board. It was number three with the Tech 9 armor as well as they double force bought. This time they've lost the first, but they did dink Zen down on B and he's gonna have to double back, leaving this position. North don't have mid control. And so that's gonna hold them off. If they go for just a full B commitment, God said they're gonna be stacked. Look at the mini map. There's four players in close proximity, three in the site, one in middle. And so if North do wanna commit, they're gonna be walking into a stack and a good decision to double back towards A, at least for the time being, try and push up on this site, only Stiko here right now. And I don't want to admit that when we played this last night, I fell off the map twice, but it's really? true. It's it's very much the case, it's very true. Yeah, but you can't explain why, and that's because, I, as Hugo's mentioned before, Tracy, we're trying to get into this little hidey hole down yeah, but on the- we can't the, tell. Luckily, well, here, no one can the, hear us at, right at now. The metal. Yeah, like right outside of the, the little the bridge, bridge right there in the elevator Yeah, yeah, shaft. no, I can show you it later. I found, I, I found I, the spot. I've done it before, There's but a of course, ways. when you're trying to do it about 3 a.m., doesn't really want to go your way. <laughs> no. Something yeah. about that is you stacked can, against you. you. You can get over on the other side of the bridge and then like hide on the other side of the railing, right? It's and like also, gravity hits harder. Yeah. Well, sure. Stiko over here. <laughs> over at CT and to okay. what? Don't know how he gets Take away it. with one, Little honestly. And, and that's, that's like a good return for Stiko there because he was fully blind. He was trapped out on a limb. Didn't really know what was going on with the flashbang coming over, and it's still a man advantage for God's sense. That's important kill for Stiko to have put up on the board. Kirby and AZ both holding close here. They've been boosted up, or AZ has rather, yeah. with Kirby holding down beneath. This double layered peak could catch God sent by surprise as they try and move in for the retake. And Ooh. Kirby holding down the line, tagged up. They deal with AZ, but Tick they top. still haven't dealt with oh. Kirby. They finally do. And all the kills come in for God sent. It's still very low and close. Hello. Uh, Only Madden had a kit, he couldn't find the bomb. Come on, man. That's a, that's a sad way to lose the round if you're Godsend. Yeah. Oh. It's not like the retake was even, I mean, it was a bit slow, but obviously with close positions from North, you know, Godsend know the second they get out the choke, they and if they get out and get the kills, they win, right? Like no one's playing passive for North and Godsend, I mean, Madden, maybe didn't he, maybe he didn't know he had the only kit, but he was late to the site for some reason and Godsend don't close around. That's a, a bit of a, 
you know, unfortunate situation, but it has put North in a great position to bring this half into a six round end. That would be decent. They're setting up again towards B. Again, heavy progress for God's sake. The spam in the wall, it baits them in, but Zen, he's not going to get anything from that. Flashed out by Gain. Kirby looks to commit ahead of it, but the Molotov will push him off. See, now they can work mid, and this is excellent for North, because now they can put pressure on the back B players and split this site more appropriately. This is like the first round that North won on this T side. Yeah, and just so you can see there in the corner, the Stream C update looks like contact will push mouse ports into overtime. It is currently 15-14. But either way, we're looking at halftime on our map. Oof. One by one, they're going in to the uh, the meat grinder in middle, and it is godsend to come out far worse oh, on dear. that. But this Steco. wrap around from Steco could do it all with Crystal dealing with Kirby over at the B ramp. This round could fall apart. Luckily enough, Steco gets caught dropping that Molly and leaves this whole round on Crystal's back. Now he has already dealt with one, hmm. but Cajun holds the line, offers up a triple to put a sixth round on the board for North. Three between them and Godsend here in the second map of this series, the map pick of North. Can they pull it together here heading into the second half and take us the distance? You're gonna have to join us after a quick break to find out.
ESL One Road to Rio powered by Intel, and there's no one better to do it. We're going to be here to guide you through what is the rest of this map of Vertigo. We've already seen the first map play, Dust 2, going the way of God Sent, and we're kicking off a pistol round here with North on the B site. And middle. It's a bit of a bonanza for North as they decide to push down the ramp. Ooh, confident play. It's going to give them a lot of info, but what it will not get them is that B bombsite back. If God 10 want to split middle here, they could take it from behind, and that would be an unfortunate situation to go about the way of North. Talk about Gamble, though. Smoke, or oh, Molotov towards the scaffolding. Kirby holding on to this push. He's going to drop his smoke on elevator, but that just sends them into B if they want to. <laughs> they won't take it. They're going to rush towards that A site. Stiko with an entry, flying through on the Glock. There's still more North players here, almost playing retake on their own site already. Oh, they certainly are. This bomb's going to get planted. And now what do you do? You got five godsend players inside of the site, MSL. Oh, this is weird, man. This is like a roll reversal, yeah. right? Because the bomb is planted CT side. And this is going to be so tricky for North to retake, right? As they try and get up through the ramp, they all get cut down. So you're relying on these players that were flanking back through mid. AZ in a 1v5, and as good as this man is in pistol round, surely this is asking too much from him. And indeed it is, Makalele finishes off the round, puts a tent on the board for Godsent, and now they look to get this second half off to a flying start. And look at the pace at which they just go through middle. It's not even a matter of respect at that point. It's just like, hey, this is what we're going to do, whether you like it or not. Blistering pace. They get the bomb down in the A site, and by the time they even get the bomb planted, the round's over. Yeah, Force for North, very common on the CT side of this map, but we have a lot of MAC-10s here for Godsend. They look to keep up with the fast rounds on this A site. It's where North find four players. It's Molotov, not necessarily going where Michael Ellie wants it, but it'll still do its job. Burn a little bit towards the short side. And Godsend can move up, but that's where North sit close, around the corner with CZs. A double setup as well is dangerous. Gade is ready with a smoke. AZ has a Molotov in hand, but a ding from behind through the wall. Michael Ellie gets startled. Yeah, we're going to push up as well. The flash is good. The bomb's uh, dropped, and now Godson have to commit. They have to bail themselves out, but they're losing players, at least finding trades. But this one doesn't go their okay. way. Cajun with a double, and it's down to Stiko in a clutch. Low HP for MSL. This is more than doable. Guns have yet to be picked up. Ooh, Stiko. Is he going to see sneaky little MSL? Drops that smoke and bows out for the time being. Instead, looking over here towards short side. Now, Cajun, he's already delivered two in this round. Just gets caught by Stiko moving back from the short side. And now the attention of MSL gets pulled away as well. He leaves this boost <gasps> position. CT player did spot there. Um, Throws a flash over, but Stiko... Look at MSL. Yeah, MSL should have this round. That's oh, right, but dear. Stiko turns at exactly the right time. Oh, and oh damage oh onto Gade as well. The need not able to find any bonus damage for Stiko. Bomb plant, look at it come in, oh. and Gade holds the line, just about putting that round on the board for North. But that was a three on one that ends in a 1v1. Thankfully, Gade holds his own. Stiko, a great attempt at that clutch, right? He had no business turning that around and getting it so close, but he does manage it. Sadly, it's that second decision to fake the bomb plant that actually comes back to punish yeah. him there. If he stuck it, he probably would have gotten away with it, right? Who knows past that, but at least bare minimum a plant. Nice shot from Gabe, man. That must have been a panic. Quick kill. And now North, they have resurged. They have set themselves up for a potential comeback in their map pick. Looking for Nuka's third map. Well, God sent let it go that far, though. Beagle and armor into this round. Stiko pushing towards B. He's not really got a lot of support. They're down the bottom of the stairwell here. And in middle. Nice shot from Stiko. Finding one. The mid split's being attempted, but there's two players here. MSL's yet to be spotted, and he won't be. He's just going to immediately remove Crystal. Stiko tagged up on the B site. And Michael Lele walking up towards A with the bomb. He's actually waiting in spawn. And we kill that kill to Kierby. The A site's pretty open. There will be a rotate in time. MSL beats him here, but Michael Lele can fake this and walk back if he wants. He can try and rejoin Stiko, or he can just hope that he forces enough rotates so Stiko can come in on a flank. Either one of those are options. He will go for the second. Stiko whiffs his shot, though, and Michael Ellie is stuck between a rock and a hard place. Yep. MSL, Ooh. an even worse spot than that. He's going to drop to the MP9 now, Makalele. Might turn into Makalolo. 
Yeah, will he be ready for the second player, right? Especially with Cajun deciding to aggress over at short side, right? Taking up the position that MSL was just dealt with in. Timing. Makalele, yeah, just missing the info. And now, cruel. there we go. Oh, he gets the and dig. Does. And now a bomb plant found. Gate over here in elevator. Makalele on for a stellar clutch. And oh, almost so oh. close. But Gade holds his own in the clutch once again. Another 1v1 Ooh, okay. for Gade. And a little like bit that. of a celebration in the server sure. from him. Yeah, Gade actually, when when Michael Ellie's in that one on two and he's wa walking Gade, to site, Gade you're being shot. Cheeky now. Yeah, now rubbing it in. <laughs> Gade shot to bait uh, Michael into his position, and MS, uh, the short player wasn't, you know, was just trying to play for the bomb. And unfortunately, he gets timed, and Michael Ellie finds that kill. But he knew where Gade was the entire time. He knew he had to be close. It's actually Cajun short side. So, Gade. Back-to-back -back one one-on-one clutches on this A site now, winning both rounds in a row for North and saving them in this map. Without either of those rounds, Godsend could be close to closing, and right now it's quite the other situation. Godsend are continually, it's continually forcing into this game. They could be digging themselves a hole, but they are getting very close, so I see why they want to go for it. If you don't find this round, though, that's when you've got to call a pause to the forces, so you've got to go back to eco rounds, because North are nipping at your heels. They are just round the corner, and they're on top of it as well. Cajun trying to bait them in to AZ above, but Zen still gets the kill. That's a trade, but that's a good situation for Godsend. They're going to go wide to find another and they do exactly that madden committing and he needed to to keep that bomb under the control for godsend finding a third kill in this round for godsend and stiko's boosted up as well this could get hairy yeah of all the kills thus far those ones from madden just there are hands down the most important for godsend right because as you touch upon it gets some control of that bomb once again right if madden gets like a one for one and then gets traded okay yeah okay yeah it's it's a it's a three on three right but or, or a two-on-two, two rather. But the the bomb would be under North control. And now they've been afforded this chance to group back up. Actually, not the, uh, the A side that they're looking towards. Instead, it's going to be B, and that's where Gade resides. They don't want to let him have a chance in the clutch again, perhaps, as they set up outside of this B site. Steeko already very, very deep, and they make noise. I think they're trying to bait Gade to yeah. return with some aggression so that Steeko can shut him down. Exactly but that doesn't look to be the decision on Gade's part. Well, they're letting so much valuable time tick off the clock. We're going to tick off the X-ray and take a look at this play. Gade's still playing around the generators, but now the hit's on. Just Ooh. 15 seconds. Godson got to get this bomb planted. Gade now off the nice. sound cue is going to drop the bomb. That creates an even bigger problem for Godson. Looks for two. They should be able to get the plan out of that. It's going to be wow. very close. One-on-one -on -one here. Stiko and MSL. He's going to have to go for the AK. Almost swings a shot over there onto Stiko. Stiko Ooh. tries to hold his ground, but simply cannot. North are full of clutches in the CT side, man. Without these clutches, this game is more than done, but North just won't stop winning the, the 1VXs. MSL will join the party as well, show Gade that he's not the only man who can perform. And North, nine rounds. There it is. God sent another bomb plant and another 4K round. If I'm God sent, I'm, I'm considering the buy. And well, that's because they keep getting four kills. Especially because their buy in this round will be even better than their yeah. buy in the one prior, yeah. right? With the bomb plant and the Look. loss bonus built up even more. Yeah, they've gone for a force. MAC 10s yeah, this I'm not time all across this. the board. Yeah, I feel like they definitely could have had AKs as well on at least, you know, one or two of these players, right? I, so I they've got to try something very, very fast here with just the MAC-10s. I feel well, like, like what they had in their pistol round, right? Like something yeah. super robust and, and really just out there in the fight. I feel like something, you know, like a half by here would be such a better decision because then you have full guns. Like if you just get swept here because you're on MAC-10s, which is what's happening, you're going to be full eco next round or at least low money. So yeah, they get some trades. They make it interesting again, but it's still an advantage for North in this round. And the bomb is yet to be secured as well. Oh, that Mac 10's not going to win the fight versus Crystal. And Michael Eli, same story. It's Kierby instead, rather, dropping them both. 10 rounds to North. And, and look at the situation Godson have put themselves in. I justified all the force buys until that very round. I feel like even though you made it close, it, it, you should definitely play around the guns. You, you're not running the game anymore. North have found four in a row on the CT side. And they are trying to take this game away from you. So Hero AK here, uh, pistols on the rest. What have Godsent got? I 
I think that's the question on everyone's mind. Stiko with that AK, but the peak is all MSLs. It's gonna be spoiled a little bit. Has a chance at a second shot, but eventually just gets tagged up. Yeah, I mean, at this point, if you're north, right, it might feel tempting because you know you have the better weaponry to be peeking these long angles at ramp, but you just don't need to take any more risks, right? MSL has already set you up perfectly in this round. He's going to continue that. And so at this point, right, you know all the pressure's on Godsent. You can just wait. These fights have got to come to you if Godsent want to win the round. And pretty much wherever they go, the, the best that Godset oh. can hope for is a three on two with these pistols versus four rifles on the other side. Now, this is where we're going to look towards a man like Stiko to try and offer something up. And might want to oh. look at those sandbags. Yeah, they might, but they don't. And that's what happens when, when you don't check them. Now, the, the real limitation there is obviously because it's a partial investment, they don't have the utility to clear that. Uh, the ideal way is, you know, you just drop a molly there because if you get caught crossing the sandbags, you're not even guaranteed to win the peak check in it. And you've got to swing very, very wide out from ramp to actually get behind it. So you understand why Godsend don't consider the sandbags as an option. But, yeah, I mean, ultimately, that's their undoing in that round there. Yeah, but only an eco. Now we got the guns, and they've got to make the best of this round. Otherwise, North might be able to steal this map away in the second. That's a great peak again. MSL has been all over these early ramp fights. Something Godsend weren't really doing on the CT side. They didn't show that AWP, and North showed them why maybe they should have. MSL, he's not done. He's in with a second, dropping the T side AWP as well. Michael Eli removed from the round, and one by one, Godsend are just giving these dry fights over to North, who is stacked on the A bomb site. They've crossed towards the sandbags. MSL looking to get revenge, though. Ooh, he's got an idea. He's going to drop the nade. Crystal is going to catch it, but it won't matter. Godsend are certainly still in this fight in this round. MSL here with his AWP is going to dance around in the side a little bit creating a little bit more space for his teammates. Ooh. Now, who's going to come out on top in this duel, Zen or K or B? Oh, no. And he checks everything up to the bam. close corner. That's so infuriating for Zen. Yeah, he just backs up a little bit, and that little bit buys him enough time to survive, and Crystal... Well, he's running out of time. 40 seconds, Kebby. Overwhelmed potentially, but he recovers well. Crystal on the site. Good spray transfer, but he's not going to get more than two. North was stacked fully on the site. They even had Cajun on the ramp flank if needed. And boy, it was not. It's a clean conversion for North once again. They are on a six-round streak in the second half. Godsend found the pistol. North won the force, and it's been Godsend digging themselves out of this force by hole ever since that point. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. But for what it's worth, Godsent with the first time out. In a tactical essence, what would you, you know, prescribe to them, Hugo? What would you say Godsent need to do? We talk a little bit about fast plays and getting back on the saddle. Uh, but is that still the answer? Yeah, get away from that A site, right? Like, I feel like everyone's so keen in, in taking it because that's what Vertigo was. But B is, is very, very uh, applicable in this case as well with Tech Nines, with, you know, pistol armor buy that Godsend could afford here. Um, North had a really nice mid to B rush in, in the early stages of the first half on the T side. Round three, they had a, a quick mid to B split. Now, obviously, that AWP is a problem on A, and MSL might take it towards mid. He has been there. And so that's the biggest problem with Godsend uh, that they've got to deal with. But other than that, getting heavy numbers up the B stairs is definitely the play on an eco round like this. And I could be wrong, but I feel like Godson just took her two timeouts in a row. Back to back. Maybe, yeah. The I two did. time. Man, I tell you what, though, the, the, the Vertigo is, is looking to be a bit of an, an oddity for Godsend, right? Their CT sides, even in that game versus G2, it was significantly their better half, right? It was moving into that second half. We saw them go seven and one uh, in, in, sorry, in seven rounds, they went six and one, right? Yeah. They, they win one T side round and then G2 just put six up on the board. Well, what's happened here? Six in a row for North after the one on the board for Godsend. These, this T side is really starting to look like a weak point here on Vertigo, a map that they used to look good on, and one that their CT sides, as we just saw, do look pretty convincing on. Yeah. But a lot of the reason it was convincing is because North did the same thing a lot of the time. They just went for this A default, and Godsend, you know, they needed to retake, they would, but often they would just deal with it before the bomb went down with good utility and, and just confident, you know, flashing through smoke, getting in North's face. So right now, Godsend, their T side has, has replicated North, so it's been very similar, and if anything, a bit stale. So 
hoping for some change as the rifle rounds come out next. But right now, it's just down to a smoke molly and a bomb plant. I kind of wish that we would see like an all-out A fake with, you know, a few players at ramp making noise, right? Just to keep yeah, MSL definitely. and co there on that AWP because the, the time to rotate now between the bottom of A ramp to B is a lot faster, right, for the T's. And if you're an AWP at A ramp, you're going to take a solid, you know, 30 seconds to complete that rotation. On top and so you oh, could just cut MSL out of the round by doing something like that, right? Because he has been the real problem here for Godsend. He's been so good at taking these opening fights in his favor. And there's not been anything that can respond yet on the Godsend side. Even when we saw that AWP, AWP purchased up for Mac Lele in that previous round, it went down towards short side, having to take a very unfavorable peak after already losing the man advantage. North are on for the retake now, and they will just start to blister their way into the bomb site. Solid pace on this. They mow them down. They get the round on the board. Find it exactly how they should, right? Don't lose a single man. Just play retake over at A, and those pistols don't find anything. Yeah, I like what you talk about when you said, you know, throwing a potential fake towards A and having players bottom be ready because a lot of these rounds are going to see Cajun flank ramp. He's done it in the past. When Godsend are going for those clear A takes, when they have three players on ramp being spotted, bomb being seen, smokes being thrown, and, and North know it's a commitment, Cajun will sometimes flank. And, you know, Godsend, if they have players outside bottom B, they can deal with that. So I'd love to see a little more action towards that B bomb site and maybe... Oh, no, we don't get it. Okay, well, God's sake, continue doing what isn't working. Do they have something different to show us? Do they have a solution at least? Because right now, North are in full control of the CT side. They've yet to drop around since a pistol. God sent. what have you got? Well, it's back to these standard smokes into the A site. We've just seen this for the last seven rounds, so it should feel pretty familiar at this point in time. Or like 23 rounds. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's something. Stiko, though, this time there's a difference for Godset. It's them to take the man advantage. And this is the first time in, in what must be six or seven rounds for them to have been the the guys to secure that. Zen coming in on this wrap round as well in 3B, and he's taking full advantage of this rotation from North. Ooh, Crystal right. is okay. flushed in for the fight. His spray transfers have looked nuts. The amount of highlights we've seen of him just spraying and shutting down. Oh, oh, man. Man. Yeah, gravity oh. is not your friend in this situation. Oh dear, MSL delivering three. This is where the wrap from Zen should have it dead to rights, and indeed it does. An 11th on the board for Godsend. They finally make that A site work for them. However, it's been a long time since those 1v1 clutches for North, right? They are nowhere near having their money broken just yet. They reinvest, they've got another buy up on the board. That's obviously thanks to a flawless round in the round before last. Yeah, North has saved te uh, 12 out of 15 players in the last three rounds. So that's actually really, really good. Hence the, the rebuying here, right? As you say, those one-on-ones, not really a factor at the moment, but we might have more clutches come through as things start to heat up, start to get faster. Godset moving quickly up ramp to trade on Kiebi. The AWP for MSL has come alive on this CT side. Well and truly been going new and new, uh, higher and higher levels here for North. Three on three. Now, this is the kind of position where you could back up and go B if you're Godsend, but they just love to drive it down and commit, keep committing towards A. And at this point, North have all players here. It's so common. I, I always wonder why teams don't do what they just did, get that two on two, trade A. You're in a three on three, walk back B or, or, or you know, stall, hold A and send a mid flank. You have so much time and those rotates are so quick and North are always going to be with three on the A site. I just feel like, you know, it feels feels like overcommitment more than anything. Both teams did it, but especially on the Godsend side, considering not none of these rounds have worked apart from the previous, you know, like North put together seven in a row. There's a reason for that. And if you go to A seven rounds in a row and you lose it seven rounds in a row, like, I don't know what to tell you, really. You know, they say, you know, you can't fix what's not bro or what's not broken. Um, so far, it's A hit. But it looked good when they did it with pacing. They got good positioning. You know, Stiko getting a kill, and then they, they're they able to hold fast and hold their ground. Maiden stays alive for so long. Just on the edge of the map. Yeah. 
it, it, it's problematic though, right? Because it's like, for God's sake, yeah, when they're getting the opening kill, it works and it looks great. But a lot of the time, they're not getting the opening kill and it doesn't look great, right? Like, I don't know. I, I, I really wanted to see a lot of depth here from Godsend, and that's the reason I think I'm so, you know, rubbed up the wrong way by just hitting A so much. Yeah. Because, you know, as we saw in that G2 game, they, they were trying to work out a lot of kind of interesting stuff over towards the B side on their T side. Now, admittedly, not to the best results, right? They did get dumpstered on the T side of that map, but I, I was kind of hoping that was going to be indicative of like a very varied style on this map where they would try and, you know, just interplay, you know, wherever, like hitting mid, hitting B, trying to take Ooh. this map control away from North. But in this round, oh, that ain't geez, it. Gade has just shut them both down at B. So I don't think we're going to see Godsent return to that anytime soon. Not looking like it. In fact, it's starting to smell like nuke. If I had to be bluntly honest with you all. Plutonium in the nose now. It's around the corner, Trace. It's looking likely. North just three kills away from 15 on their map pick and seems more attainable than ever. So 10-6 for Godsend at one point. They is grenade. good for Kierby. Oh, they might beat it. it does a bit, bit of damage, significant at least for an M4 player who can now find one shot dinks and the AWP. Well, leg shots aren't a factor. He might get shot in the leg though. Crystal jumping up, getting knocked down a peg and now North on the retake with a huge advantage. No way they can bottle this one. They've got the util, they've got the kits. Uh, both players on Godsend stuck together side by side. No flanks this time for North, but if anything that plays in their favor, just grouped looking to trade. Yeah, also with these two smokes, you can actually just smoke off ramp similar to how you would in like, uh... I mean, like we often see in these CT retakes and they're already on the bomb. So for Zen, he can't do anything there. The rap comes in from Cajun to solidify the kill. And it is map point for North, 15 to 11. Gade gonna be the impact player in this round. And I think justifiably so. He's all alone at the B site and he doesn't falter. He finds not just one, but both kills. And on top of that, you know, denies any kind of trickery from Godsend. If he falls at B, suddenly we're gonna see a rotation. And then that A hit might have been that much more pronounced from the Godsend side. Alternatively, they, they could have just gone back to B and got the bomb down, right? So that could have gone in favor of Godsend had Gade not held his own at the B bomb site in what was effectively a 1v2. That and, you know, Maiden really, just, just to be honest with you, kind of whiffing the shot there on Gabe. They're boosting on B. I'd love to have a look at this instead of watching the A site for the 12th time because something different maybe, but uh, <laughs> Maiden, he, oh, Stiko gets knocked off. It's not going to work out. Godsend, they have the majority of players grouped here with a bomb. Apart from that one A fake that didn't really find all too much, there's going to be three CTs here. North are prepared, and they've heard nothing A again. So Kierby flashed into the fight, does get away with one. Michael Ellie getting one kill at the same time, drops Gade. AZ hiding at the back of the pillar. This is such a good position, and they're not ready for it. He's dropped the bomb, smoking himself off. Two kills away from that nuke as well, and we might just be getting there. Stiko is going to need a monstrous clutch here on the B bomb site, and smokes in every corner. There's nothing to be seen, nothing to be done. He finds the first but the trade is instant and North, they've done it 16 to 11. What an excellent comeback from these Danes. They look to take us to the Danish home turf of Nuke. It's the third and final map of this series. Join us after the